Hi everyone, I'm Tony Mori, and I'm visiting Dariosh Winery in Napa. Let's visit together. Dariosh Winery, founded by Dariosh Kaledi in 1997, is located on the Silverado Trail in Napa Valley. Completed in 2004, the palace-like winery projects an image of Persepolis, an ancient city in Iran, attracting particular attention on the Silverado Trail. The Dariosh Estate's 95 acres are planted to Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz, Malot, Malbec, Petit Verdot, Chardonnay and Viognier with the vineyard signature wine, the Dario II Cabernet Sauvignon, limited to 12 to 18 barrels each vintage. Over the past 30 years, Dario Kaledi's passion for fine wine transformed them from collector to producer, and Dario is the culmination of his worldwide search for the ultimate vineyard estate. We have Dario Winery's president, Dan Paul, with us today. Well. Dariush was founded uh, less than 10 years ago, and uh, this is only our eighth vintage, but Dariush Kaledi is an American immigrant who came to the United States in 1976 and uh, seeking his fortune and fame, and did so in the grocery business, and founded this winery um, in 1997 to produce a very Bordeaux-esque uh, Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, we've become quite famous for our Cabernet worldwide. So one of the unique things about Dariush that, that makes it uh, a, a little bit different of a winery than many other properties in Napa is, um, is the architecture. Uh, the architecture is based in Dariush's roots in Persia. Um, it's, it's a very historical design, but it's also very modern and very luxurious. As I mentioned, it's sort of a Persian Four Seasons Dariush uh, is a man who loves to travel, um, and he loves the finest things in life. Uh, so we have a very, very uh, beautiful, luxurious uh, location with uh, international boutique of, of luxury items from designers like uh, Mizzoni and uh, 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 Gucci and several other makers that we uh, bring here uh, for the benefit of our guests. Uh, our customer service is unmatched. We have uh, about six master sommeliers on staff that help uh, our guests enjoy wines and explore wines in a, in a very beautiful environment. And then lastly, in Dariush's private cellar here, we do some private tastings where we'll actually open up uh, Bordeaux from Dariush's cellar with uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Dariush uh, and do a celebration of the differences between these two great gro growing regions that he has enjoyed for many, many years. Uh, we also enjoy uh, champagne. Uh, you can see we open up Krug, have a little uh, Iranian caviar. So we like to put on a little bit different of a wine tasting experience than a lot of other properties. So our wines are pri primarily grown in the cooler climate southern Napa Valley in order to achieve uh, a certain style of wine that is uh, popular by Dariush. Uh, he has been collecting Bordeaux for more than 40 years and collecting Napa Valley Cabernet for about 20. Um, uh, as you know, the winery was featured in a movie Sideways in Japan in October 2009. Uh, and we've seen a lot of visitation from uh, Japanese wine enthusiasts to uh, this property here. And it's a very distinctive property, very unique, uh, very luxurious. We like to call it the Persian Four Seasons. Um, uh, very unusual, but uh, we p take very good care of people, and uh, Dariush believes in uh, uh, a high service level, uh, similar with the greatest hotels and restaurants of the world. Uh, we also make a, uh, a few smaller production wines, such as this Viognier uh, and Chardonnay, both of a very Euro European characteristic. And uh, we also make a Shiraz, which is the native grape of Iran, where Dariush was from. To us, the most important aspect of winemaking is to produce wines that have an individuality, a, a personality, a style, so to speak, that, that is very um, unique to us. Uh, wines are, there are as many wines as there are people and personalities in the world. So if your wine doesn't have a certain soul, uh, it, it becomes less important to Dariush. So what we've done, or what he's done, is 
he purchased uh, vineyards in the southern cooler Napa Valley. We have about 90 acres, uh, all estate grown uh, production. And um, he, as I mentioned, is a big fan of Bordeaux, so our wines tend to have a little bit more of a uh, progressive uh, international style to them than what you would typically find in a Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Napa Cabernets are famous for being very ripe and rich, and ours certainly are, but ours also have a certain identity that has more uh, cocoa, chocolate, a little bit more earth, and a little bit more of a... Um, a little more style than just uh, their size. And I think that's very important. Uh, the wines will age for a long time, are definitely very collectible, and uh, have been receiving good reviews in both Europe and in Asia. Um, today I've chosen two wines. Uh, the first is our Napa Valley Viognier. Uh, Viognier is a very unusual grape uh, internationally, but also in Napa Valley. There's probably less than 10 wineries in Napa that make a Viognier, and I think a lot of your, uh, your fans will have never heard of Viognier, but uh, when we were in um, Tokyo in October, we poured this wine, and it was actually one of the more popular wines from our portfolio. It has a, a very aromatic, uh, a very rich, fruity style that I think goes with a lot of Asian cuisine. Um, and, you know, it's also a little bit something different that you can't find anywhere else. Uh, secondly, this is the flagship of the Darius Winery, is our signature Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, this is the 2006 vintage that we'll be tasting in a few minutes. And once again, it's grown uh, in southern Napa, 100% uh, estate grown, very international, uh, uh, progressive style of, of Cabernet Sauvignon, very age-worthy, and um, I look forward to sharing it with you. I'm Dan DiPolo, president of Dariush. Next time you're in Napa, please join us at this remarkable winery, Dariush Winery. Thank you. How did you like Dariush Winery? I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.